Welcome. In today's video, I'll be unboxing and reviewing the Invoxia GPS Tracker that runs on Helium Network. If you are wondering what the product is used for, it is used to track your assets and valuables. You basically place or attach the device within your car, motorbike, bicycle, or anything you wish to track, and you are able to monitor the location using the Invoxia GPS app. It has an amazing battery life up to six months with a three year subscription included. Within the box, you are provided with the GPS tracker, a user manual to get you started, and a micro USB. The unit itself is sleek with a micro USB port. On the back side of the unit, it has a power button, which if you press for one second, the tracker will show that it's turned on and it will indicate its position on the network map. If you press and hold for five seconds, the tracker will reboot. To keep track of the device, you will require to download the Invoxia app from the Apple or Google Play Store. Opening up the app, you are prompted to provide a location. As it is a tracking product, it is recommended to provide a location to gain accurate results. The tracker has a feature which allows you to set a safe zone. Once the tracker enters the zone, it notifies you within the app. Select yes and I accept the notifications. To improve the Invoxia app, you can choose to share the analytics back with the team. You are then prompted to connect the GPS tracker to the micro USB. Once the tracker has been detected, you'll get a confirmation screen. Select the region and click continue. Select what you would like the product to monitor. I'll be using this across different modes of transport, so I will select person. Now let the device run until it is registered on the network. Input your name and date of birth, and you are now ready to use the product on the network. Before we jump into the app features, as you can see on the Helium Explorer map, most hexes within London are covered with network coverage. There is a misconception that you earn HNT for using this device. However, this is not the case. Logging into the app, as you can see, I tested out the tracker from point one to point two. For each position, the device has connected to the Helium hotspots and then data has been updated to the app, which reveals the location of the tracker. So for those hotspots that the device connects to, they will earn a small amount of HNT for transferring data. So let's take a look at a few features within the app. By selecting the stacked icon, you are able to switch between different map styles. On the main screen, it provides a detailed breakdown from the start location to the final destination. Its accuracy is precise, and with any movement to the device, you can set up to receive a notification on your phone. Clicking on the settings icon, you are provided with a range of options. The proximity radar allows you to ring the device to find its exact location. Within Bluetooth range, a colored circle will appear, and the closer you get to the tracker, the smaller and redder the circle gets. Standby can save you battery life, if you do not need to use the tracker actively. Update rate allows you to adjust the amount of times your tracker identifies its exact position. Even with it set very high, I still have not yet had to recharge the device after using it for almost 6 weeks, with 55% of battery life still left. Personally I set my notifications on, for any movement of the device or initiation of a journey, therefore I don't require to set a specific zone for alerts. This will vary from each person's requirements. And finally, within the history log, you are provided with coordinates of the device's movements, which is extremely useful to pinpoint the exact position. You can type this within Google to find and confirm the location. So what are my overall thoughts? The product is very useful if you find the need of it in your day-to-day -day life. It's convenient and functional and performs the task it's supposed to do. However, it is useful to note that if you are in areas that do not have coverage, it will not update its position. For the UK, it currently uses Sigfox to provide coverage, but for the US it runs on the Helium network. I have left a link below if you want to find more information about the product. If you found this video useful, please do give it a thumbs up, do subscribe and keep those notification bells on. Thank you all for watching, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.